I'm using the Gypsy Witch deck to actually do this particular read. So the first card is the pig, and this is talking about a lot of money coming in and something that's very long term. So whatever job you're uh, doing at the moment is going to bring in a lot of finances. And it's going to be, you know, quite a lot, actually, with a pig. It's usually about a lot of success financially. And then you've got this medal card above it, which is talking about recognition and, um, you know, uh, improvement in your reputation. So something you're doing is going to be a lot very successful. And maybe this is the thing that is going to be able to generate this finances for you. Now you've got the lilies card over here, so whatever job you're doing, uh, you might be working with older people, um, maybe older females really, uh, and um, you know it's quite a nice uh, situation, it's pretty happy uh, and it's pretty stable as well, so um, you know, you're enjoying that particular job right now. So in the past you had the lightning over there, which is talking about some kind of information coming to you that was quite shocking and quite life-changing. So there was something that happened, uh, some kind of revelation that came in for you. And you've got the fish card over here, whatever it was, you, you've also managed to generate a lot of finances as well. So money has been coming in as well. So maybe you received some kind of, um, you know, bolt from the blue and or maybe um, some kind of um, sudden unexpected payoff. Uh, but it's certainly money, it, it was something that involved money, uh, that unexpected news. Now, going into the future, you've got the birds over here, and this is about collaborating with a lot of people, uh, but also be careful of hidden enemies. So there's a, there might be a lot of people that are gossiping about you or gossiping around you, so beware of that. Keep all your sensitive information to yourself. And then there's some good news coming in over here with the rider. Uh, and, you know, this might even in itself uh, bring about some movement as well but it is some good news maybe involving money as well because you've got this jack of diamonds over here and this is usually about you know uh, it's about money or it's about work so uh some good news coming in for you there so those are the energies for that week so i'm using the um law of attraction tarot for this read i have shuffled this deck See what's going on. Now, at the bottom of the deck, you've got this four of uh, pentacles over here, and this is talking about security issues, so watch out for security uh, breaches uh, going on around you. But the four of pentacles is about, um, you know, keeping a, uh, a tight rein on your, on your money, making sure that you are watching what you're spending and hanging on to your finances, um, you know, because, you know, you're not in a, a very, very good financial position at the moment. With the four of pentacles, it's, um, you know, making sure that you're watching all those little pennies. It's also about security here. So, you know, it's important to, um, you know, um, make sure that uh, your um, assets are secured. Make sure that you're watching that there's no theft going on around you or even watch your bank accounts that money is not going out where you, uh, you know, keep an eye on your finances. In other words, with this um, four of pentacles over here, uh, you can see there's a computer there with a security password over here. So even watch your passwords as far as your computer, uh, you know, as far as your banking, if you're doing internet banking, I would suggest you watch your passwords or even change your passwords if if, the, if you're doing uh, internet banking. But there is some sort of security issue going on over here and you need to just pay attention to that. Now, uh, what's going on with you? You've got this um, page of pentacles coming in over here. So this is talking about, um, you know, whatever... Um, there's some kind of message coming in about your work. So there might be news of a new job. Whatever you're doing right now, it might be involving studying. It also could be about receiving some kind of, um, you know, working with information. So this is a lot of intellectual work that is going on, and you're working very much on your own. Uh, you might be dealing with, um, with finances. You might be dealing with some kind of... Um, a job that involves calculations or, um, you know... Um, you know, some kind of mathematics uh, as well involved in that kind of job. It's it's about using a lot of mental energy and about a lot of logic that goes into this particular job that you're doing. Now, you've got this uh, Queen of Rods over here, and this is your card, really. So you are really much, very much on top of things. Um, maybe you're even looking to a job or, or you want a job that involves much more um, uh 
you know, where you're dealing with that kind of um, um, thing like uh, finances or uh, dealing with calculations. Maybe this is what you are trying to pursue. Now, it looks like you're on top of things at the moment. It is some kind of leadership position that you're taking on uh, with this Queen of Rods over here and uh, very organized. And it's also a job that involves a lot of communication and a lot of travel as well with this Queen of Rods. Now, in the past, you've been feeling very, very isolated. You've got this four of uh, swords over here, and you can see this woman's in this little glass bell over here. So you've been feeling very isolated. Maybe you deliberately isolated yourself. Uh, maybe you're getting over a difficult situation. Uh, maybe you're also feeling very, very lonely in this particular position. Whatever this job is, maybe you've been focusing on, on your work so much that <coughs> you've uh, limited uh, your social life quite a bit. And you have been feeling very, very isolated, very, very unsupported in this last year. So in the last few months, you've got this Ten of Pentacles. It looks like you are ending this old job that you're working in. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, it's the end of an old cycle and something brand new coming in. So some kind of uh, whatever you've been doing, it seems like you've... Uh, maybe you feel, it was making you feel too lonely, too isolated, and now you are um, uh, moving on. So it looks like that particular cycle has come to an end or that particular job is finished and or that particular project project has finished and now you're going to be moving on and doing something that involves you know maybe a lot of travel and maybe a lot of mental work as well so you're considering some kind of new business venture so so uh, you want a new project to come in or a new job coming in that's going to bring in and it's more business based uh, it seems and it's going to bring in a lot of finances because this is the ace of pentacles over here and you've got this caduceus which is usually a new business project or new money coming in over here so this is what you want this is on your mind and it seems like since you've ended something here with this Ten of Pentacles, you may have gotten a little bit of a payoff as well. Uh, you, you are planning on starting something brand new with that Ace of Pentacles. Now, going to the future, you've got the Ace of, um, sorry, the Eight of uh, Pentacles over here. So this particular job that you're going to be doing, it's almost as though you're specializing in whatever this field is that you're doing. And it might involve money working with uh, finances, uh, there's some kind of information that you are missing. So there's something that you're waiting to come in. Uh, you haven't actually seen it. So you see this person's got the information with them. You need that information. You're feeling a bit stuck as well in this particular thing. So you want to move on. You want to specialize. And this particular job is going to involve that. It's going to be almost apprenticeship-like. So you're going to be learning on that job. Uh, but there's also some information that you need. Uh, so you need to go and do some research or ask people or somebody uh, for that information or that advice in order for you to move forward because you're a bit stuck at this particular moment. It will open the doors for you. So something is hidden. You've even got this curtain over here. So that's like a veil, which is almost like hiding information. So there's something that you need. Uh, in order for you to move forward and you need to go and find that information. Now, uh, you've got the six, six of rods over here. So uh, a lot of success coming to you soon. Uh, you know, you will be able to harvest that success. So uh, whatever this new job is going to produce a lot of money or a lot of financial rewards. And it's also going to produce a lot of recognition for you. And it's going to put you into a position of authority. And so you're going to be uh, in charge of projects as well. So you need this information because you are becoming an expert in your particular field, but you need some kind of information so that you can get this particular job where you are in that management kind of position where you are one in charge um, and in, um, something where you can generate a lot more finances. So you do need to go and do some research or speak to somebody about that. You need to find that information. It is available to you, but you haven't seen it yet. Uh, maybe you haven't pursued a certain avenue and you do need to find that information itself in order for you to move forward. Maybe it's something that you're missing, that missing link, if you like, in order for you to get that particular management position. And you will be in charge, you will be uh, orchestrating a lot of new projects as well. So here you are with the Ten of Cups, you want to get rid of all those old problems that you've been in. You are dreaming of maybe buying yourself a new home and moving on. Uh, and you know you want happiness to come in, you want that this uh, any kind of... Um, upset to um, to come to an end. You want that cycle to come to an end. Now, you are trying to go up that um, career ladder. You can see all these little chairs going up to the top. So you're, uh, <coughs> excuse me, with the Seven of Pentacles, it's about investing a lot of time and effort and energy into your work situation in order for you to get up that social, uh, sorry, that career ladder. 
It looks like you are going to get there. It looks like you are self-made. You started from the very bottom and now you're working your way up. And with this Eight of Pentacles, it's like about specializing. It's about getting your way up to the top. And it looks like from the Eight of Pentacles, you you um, you are getting to that Three of Pentacles. It's, you know, where you're orchestrating, you're in charge, um, you know, um, very working very independently, um, uh, sorting out uh, a lot of projects, uh, handling a lot of a lot of people, being in charge. So it looks like you are climbing that social ladder and you are getting there. Even though it might be a slow climb, but you are getting there. Now you feel as though, uh, you know, time is running out. You've got this uh, Six of Cups over here. So some offer is coming in for you as well with the Six of Cups. It might have been people uh, that you've worked with before. Uh, maybe an old company calls you up and says, come and do this job over here. Uh, and maybe you decide to move on and go and do the job, uh, do something else somewhere uh, that you've worked in before or you've, you've worked with the people there before. So something coming out from the past, uh, presenting an offer to you, but also you are, are working on some kind of um, time constraint. It's almost as though, you know, you have... Have, uh, you want to get things done by a certain time and you want to you know climb this um, career ladder by a certain time there are certain goals that you set for yourself and you feel as though time is running out now you've got a lot of plans in your head over here and um, with the seven of cups a lot of options available for you you've got a lot of ideas about what you want to do so this is a card that is saying that you need to stop procrastinating and start moving forward so start putting your plans into action and you know if there's information that you're missing you need to go and ask for some advice or get that information that you need in order for you to move forward. Now, I'm going to draw some cards from the Fairy um, Tarot. And the first card is the Ace of Winter, uh, which says, uh, Don't be deterred by any challenges along the way. It is important to communicate clearly and accurately amazing new ideas that should be implemented. So something brand new coming in for you with this Ace of Winter over here. And, you know, even if there's a bit of problems or challenges, uh, you will be able to sort it out. The Ace of Winter is that card about, you know, getting control over difficulties. You've got that little lion over there in the back and she's walking next to it. So you are going to be able to sort out these problems and be victorious in it. Make sure that your communication, channels of communication are open. This is usually, um, you know, the um, Ace of Swords. So getting... Um, control of that situation. Be very determined, be very, very single-minded, and be very logical, and speak very, very clearly when you're uh, communicating your ideas. Like if you're going for interviews and things like that, make sure that you are speaking very clearly. You've got the Empress card, which is a success card. Time to take action, a power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. So, so money is coming in uh, for you, but you have to be very, very proactive. Like even with this eight of pentacles, you can see you can't stand over there and wait for things to come for you because you will miss it. You will need to take action. You need to be proactive and do the research and go in there and put out your CV and you go in there and, you know, orchestrate, um, uh, you know, new uh, opportunities for yourself. You've got the star card over here, so look to the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that re bring le relief from challenging situations. So the, with the star, it's being guided to do something. It's also a lot of recognition coming in, and this says that uh, there is a lot of change that is going to be very positive for you. So there is something that is coming in, uh, a kind of a leadership position with the star is about being recognized by a lot of people, uh, and, you know, almost internationally, if you like. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of success with the Empress card, but you need to be very proactive and take action and be able to communicate your ideas very, very clearly. So watch out for your security. Security. Whatever your job you're doing is going to require a lot of mental effort, a lot of energy, but you've got that Queen of Rods over here, which is your card, and you will be able to take control of that situation. People find you very, very attractive in the sense that they want to work with you. They feel you uh, easygoing, but also a very, very much a leader. And it looks like you're going to be getting some kind of leadership position coming in as well. And you are well on your way to climbing that career ladder and being successful. But with that Seven of Cups, it's saying, please don't pro procrastinate. Make sure that you are being very proactive um, all the way through. And be very realistic about your goals when you set when you set them. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.